worthy of the Lord. He's worthy of the glory. He deserves the praise today. Come on, everybody, all over the room, open your mouth and worship him. Lift your hands and bless him in this place. A quick video for my brother. Happy birthday, Ernest Jr. Formerly Spooky. <laughs> anyway, uh, you turned this big six old. That means you're grown now. I am so happy for you, and I um, know that you're happy. Uh, yes, uh, you're grown now, but uh, I got three years on you, but I still am very glad that I am your sister. I uh, your oldest sister, and I am going to use that all the way to the hill, even though I am considering you my big brother. Um, I remember back in the day, uh, we used to get in so much trouble and blaming things on each other, getting whippings on the stairway and, and, and the core up that Long Hill Road in Connecticut. <laughs> Oh, my God, pants down. We're back. You're talking about old school whooping. Ah, uh, whooping in here. Whooping, not spanking. <laughs> I am um, so glad that you are here today, alive, well, healthy, taking care of yourself. Uh, did I say happy? Yeah, I know you're happy. Um, I'm proud of you with your children and how you've been just that wonderful father have you how you have stepped up to the plate in so many instances within our family and your own. Uh, have you you're just a good man. Um, you you were all raised very well. You have come to appreciate how we were raised. Each each one of us. And be thankful for that. Looking at so many families down through the years, we are one of the best, one of the good ones. Uh, and I am thankful about, for that for sure. Um, I remember the time you came and visit me in Atlanta. One time that you came visit me for now, you, you tripped out together, uh, and how you just paid so much attention to me. And from that day, I really said you were my big brother. Uh, uh, how you have grown from being goofy to Ernest Rose Jr. to Ernest. Yes, you are Ernest now. No juniors anymore. No juniors anymore. I, I am, see how I keep on bringing that up. Anyway, I am thankful that you are just here. I wish you could see each other more often. You need to. Uh, like a compare to this like report. You have to. Boy, we should be ashamed of that stuff. Uh, I am so glad to uh, to say happy birthday to you, and um, I wish you many more, not just the praise, not a cliche, I really do wish, wish you had many, many more. Um, as far as the uh, memories from them, how you, you love to mess with me, you love to bring up my old, my past, and my choices, and or whether they were good or bad, the majority of the time you said it's bad ones you make me sick. Anyway, <laughs> I just laugh, laugh at you and say whatever, that's the way it is, that's life, and I am thankful that I'm here today, so, all right, that's good. Uh, and yet, you know, you're not the only man I know who knows me so well, because you know everything, you see me and stuff, and I can just maybe mention to my husband, uh, uh, be now, and uh, he will never understand or really know because you saw firsthand and you just hear it. I am just wanted to say happy birthday, and I really hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day because you, you deserve it. You really deserve that and more. I hope. We all, at one time, would go above and beyond and show you. I uh, have something for you. Just need to get your address. 
Uh, and I'm going to make sure that you enjoy this package. <laughs> Love you. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Stella, also known as Estelle Rhodes. I am doing this video for my big bro, Ernest. Happy birthday. I have a very um, interesting story to tell. Um, what I remember from Ernest when we were really young and we were in Connecticut, um, he decided to play with um, his friends and I wanted to play too so we all went outside and I followed him he didn't want to be bothered with his little sister but I still followed him outside and we um, started throwing snowballs and Ernest thought it would be funny to put rocks in his snowballs and throw them at people yeah Ernest so, he threw a snowball at me, and it hit me right square in the middle of my forehead. And I had a huge, like, huge, huge bump. And I cried, and I screamed, and I can't wait till my dad came home so I could tell him what Ernest did. And Ernest hid, and he kept telling me that, you know, I'm okay, and put ice on it, I'm going to be okay. And I went and told Mom, Mom was like, you know, you're going to just, you know, sit there, and when your dad gets back, you know, we'll deal with it. And I was like, no, 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 go to your room. So I went upstairs, and while I was upstairs, I kept, was just waiting for my dad to pull into the driveway. And once he did, I was like running down the stairs. And I was like, get back upstairs. I'll deal with it. And I was like, no, I'm going to tell him what, you know, my mom was like, you better get up before you get spanked. And I realized, uh-oh, Ernest may get spanked. Uh -huh. So anyway, I um, went upstairs and acted really quiet like I was in my room. I closed the door, but I went back out went to the top of the stairs, I just sat there and waited, and then Ernest started going up the stairs, and he sees me, and my dad is coming in, and he's like about to go upstairs, and he calls Ernest, and he goes, Ernest, get down here, but he didn't say Ernest, he called him Pookie, <laughs> so Pookie had to come downstairs, and I'm at the top just waiting for him to get it, and my dad decides to pull his belt out and start chasing him. Of course, Ernest jumps from each couch to each love seat to the end table, try to hide behind the lamp. He just went around in a circle over and over again, and my dad's in the middle of the front room floor trying to reach him with the belt to spank him, and Ernest just kept going around the room, and my dad's in the middle just trying to spank him, and he never really caught up with him, and I was mad and came downstairs to intimidate the situation, and it wasn't going to happen. My dad just finally was like, Ernest, you better get here. I'm going to give you the spanking, and he hit him a couple of times, and I ran upstairs laughing and picking at him like, you were running around in circles, ha, 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 ha. So anyway, I know, that was kind of mean, but I had a big, big bruise on my head for a while. So um, that was one funny story, but overall, Ernest was always very clever. He used to um, pay me to clean up his room, $5, and it was a lot of cleaning. And I remember once I sold him my wonderful wonderful awesome poster of Bruce Lee and for 50 cents and he told his friends that he got it um, you know and da, da 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 and I was like that's not fair I sold it to him for 50 cents and he kept it but I wanted it back but I felt it was more appropriate for him and his um, return favor was to show me how to use nunchucks so I learned a little of defense training by giving my brother the wonderful Bruce Lee poster but I um, still have a little bit of that knowledge of how to defend myself nowadays and I want to tell him thank you for protecting me even though sometimes you were a little intense 
but you were my big bro, my only big bro. I love you and happy birthday. Bye. Well, good morning. This is um, your sister, Ernice, and I shouldn't have to say that, but I guess that's the formal introduction. But I wanted to say good morning and happy birthday, my brother, my friend, my pal. We the lookalikes. Me and you look alike. Mm -hmm, a lot of people say that, but anyhow. I want to say happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, Ernest, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ernest. Hey, listen, I'm trying to think of some memories. We have quite a lot because um, we was kind of like road dogs, you know, not, you know, road dogs. One of the things we did, um, funny thing, we used, how we used to um, uh, go down to Cherry Street in the church. We used to sneak in the back and open up the um, the windows to get into the church and play the instruments. <laughs> that was fun. We used to be in there for like hours in a day. And um, one of the things um, uh, we used to do a lot was, remember we played in my backyard. We played uh, two against one against my father <laughs> when he was younger playing basketball, but those those were the good times, and I'm glad you hooked up back with me after, well, about not talking, after 30 some odd years, I believe, and uh, thank you very much for your friendship, and um Happy birthday, Uncle Ernest, Miss Joy, uh, your niece. Uh, Ernie's daughter. Um, I just wanted to say that I love you. Um, I'm trying to, you know, gather memories and all that kind of stuff. Um, all I can think about is the first time that I seen you. Um, I believe it was from my memory, you know, being an adult uh, or being old enough to remember. It was my high school graduation. Um, you and I, Stella, came, and I was just quite amazed, like, oh, my God, this is my uncle, <laughs> just so tall, so handsome, just strong. Uh, my mom talked so much about you, and you matched everything that she said. Um, I hope you have an amazing birthday, an amazing year, um, and plenty, plenty more to come. We love you dearly. Oh, it has guards, so I had to do this real quick. And sorry, I congested. I have a little cold. Love you.